What a charming melody. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to part number 43 of our Pokemon Nuzlocke. Um, I need to go to the Safari Zone. I need to find the Warden's Teeth, and I would like you to accompany me on this journey, because I'm sure there's going to be some fucked up Pokemon along the way. 108 Poke. Or 108,000. <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad. We're not gonna be able to catch anything, unfortunately, because I've set up some strictly rules for myself, which has kind of uh, d made me distraught, but when you catch a Kyogre, it makes the victory that much sweeter. So we'll see if I can remember how to get through this place. I don't know where the teeth are exactly. Shoal Shell, interesting. I think that recovers item or health as you do damage. There's a rest house. Hello there. How many did you catch? I'm bushed from the effort. I caught one. One. I caught one. I caught a Chansey. That makes it all worthwhile. <sighs> I caught a Kyogre though. Fuck your Chansey. Kyogre's got some offensive power. He's like, I bring the rain and the water and you're dead. But I just raised up a Sea King. Oh, Clam Slam! I miss you, little buddy! He's around the same level. Oh, fuck. What are you? Armaldo. Gross. Goodbye! Hmm. What does this sign say? The remaining time only declines while you walk. That's not how time works. Wow, I'm not walking. Time has stood still for me. Win a free HM for finding the secret house. I'm trying to find the secret house. Did I go deep enough? Quillfish, cool! I would like a quillfish instead of a lady bar, but that was not to be, unfortunately. Yeah, this is just walking through the grass reminiscing about all the things that I could have had and don't. So, uh, enjoy that. <laughs> Shep it. I actually don't care for that. No. Goodbye. It is creepy. Kind of cool. Ghost typish. Mmm. Secret power TM. What does it do? It's a secret. Spell tag. What does it do? Uh, it's a spell tag. I think it wards off wild Pokemon. Which in the Nuzlocke doesn't really matter. I should grind all I can. Secret house is still ahead. Let's keep on going then, huh? Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's lost gold teeth. They're around here somewhere. Reward offered. Contact Warden. Wow! Right by this sign. How convenient. And I'm so glad that wasn't randomized. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And a double team TM. That's kind of useful. Hello? Anyone in here? Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made the campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you won! HM3! Hooray! HM3, Seth, Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water using it. This HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize! I guess I am, aren't I? I better teach that to fucking Sea King. Why not, right? He's a water type. He knows what he do. Well, Golbat's a fucking flying type that can't fly, so... I'm not talking shit about you, Golbat. I'm just stating the facts. I'm really, really sorry. Heck Flail. Horn Attack. Supersonic. Fucking Supersonic. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> ah, that's wonderful. Machine set. Shove this into your brain. Fuck yeah, I learned surf. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it works. No? We need a gym badge? We need a gym badge. Well, uh, fine. I'll leave. And I'll go get that gym badge. Also, where's the warden? Did you catch your fair share? Mm-hmm. I caught some gold teeth. They were in an old man's mouth, and now they're in my pocket. There's a Kangaskhan over there, my favorite Pokemon number one in my top ten list. I am doing top 10 series, still, uh, though not consistently, as this. 
The Safari Zone has a zoo. Yeah, we fucking know. I, I really guess I gotta get Koga's badge or Sabrina's badge or, um, somebody's getting their fucking badge took. That's all I know. A little bit of Safari Zone, a little bit of gym ass whooping. All right. You are ready for all this. Come here. Talk to me, you. Come to me. Let's see you beat up my special... Beat my special techniques. Yeah, let's see you beat my meat. Beat my meat! Come on, juggle my balls, Nate. Oh, that's my friend's name. That's gross. Oh, my one friend. Um, he's got a mud kip. I guess I'll go with the bike. Not really too worried unless that thing comes out with a ground move, but even then, I don't think it's going to one-hit KO. Uh, it will hurt uh, a great amount since it's only two levels lower than me. But we're getting those flinch hacks going. Arbok is a mean motherfucker. Medusa. I should start calling her by her proper name. A Persian. Hmm. Let's see what you can do against. Fuck yeah! Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. Hashtag Super Smash Bros. Goddamn. I hate Goldeen. But Sea King? Fuck yeah. He's got that peck, which I keep picking instead of horn attack. And he doesn't even flinch. Fucking... Arbok gets the flinch every time. Persian? Can't do it. Can't do it the same way. Kitty's not as scary as a snake. You see? Horn attack! I bet that would've one-hit KO'd. Yeah, I'm surprised by Sea King's power. I can't remember if water is special or physical as far as attacking. I would assume special, but uh, I don't really remember for this generation. Which makes it even more interesting, if you want me to be completely honest. Hey look, another guy. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Wow. Dreamt of becoming a ninja. Yeah. I got nothing. That's your life aspiration. If somebody told me that, like, at a bus stop, I would leave. Even if that was my bus, I'd just be like, I need to go buy a goldfish and feed it. <laughs> I need to feed my fish! You don't have a fish. I need to buy a fish and feed it to my cat, which I'm also buying at the same time! Wouldn't that be funny walking to a pet smart and you're just like, yeah, I need to buy these Pokemon. Buy these Pokemon? What if they sold Pokemon at Pet Smart? Holy shit, dude. I want that so bad. That's that's my one dream. Pet Smart, can you make that happen? <laughs> just the genetic engineering, I'll pay for it if you want. Don't worry. I really do mean it. Oh, fuck. Executors out here. Get the fake out going with the acorn. Ugh. Oh, I'm still having that. Like, half my brain is still on the pet smart bit. Like, walk in and just be like, yeah, I need a P Pikachu. Actually, I need a male and a female Pikachu. So I can breed them. Breed them together. And make the strongest Pikachus. I'll pick from that offspring. I think you can... No, you'd probably need more than one. Wouldn't they be retarded if you're trying to, like, breed from just two parents? Like, it's too close in the gene pool or some shit like that? I have no idea. Pokemon doesn't seem to take that into account. They love incest. <laughs> and water sport. And mud sport. Thanks, Japan! <laughs> ah, there you go. Mega kick on the bell sprout. Fuck that shit. And, uh, what else you got? Kirk? Kirky Dirk. He's got a Dew Skull. I was gonna switch, but I remembered Acorn can hit that shit super effective with the Feint Attack. And actually, we are seemingly uh, pretty well leveled for this gym, all things considered. I bet Koga's gonna come out with like a level 40, but um, I should get some fucking items before we do this. No shit. I'll go face the gym leader down without items? That's crazy, bro! But we've taken, like, no damage. Hey! Hey, you! Are you Bill? You're Bill, bro! You transformed from a Jigglypuff into a dude, and now you joined as a ninja. A Jigglypuff ninja. <sighs> I also study the way of the ninja. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Like, putting a hamster up their butt? What are you talking about? Oh my god, he's got a whip! Wow. I never thought this could be a thing. Poor Scyther. Don't you want to be free? Don't you want to come with, uh, Daddy Dayton? 
Oh, that slash. I hate it. I hate it. If it crits, it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. This is not good. Luckily, I do get the glare on him, so I'm gonna be able to do my para flinch hacks. Thank God for Arbok, dude. Oh, he agilities up to get past the paralysis, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Maybe, probably. Nah. Don't worry about it. Keep on flinching. Flinch like a little bitch. Poor Scyther. Have you ever found a praying mantis like in your house or in your garden? Those are the fucking coolest, man. Oh. I bought praying mantises from like Lowe's or some shit. It was like an egg sack. And uh, after a couple of weeks, they just overflowed. When they're babies, they're really fucking scary and shitty. And uh, it was... It was quite horrifying, now, come to think of it, but like, then we found mantises in our yard later, which was fucking awesome. They're just so cool, and so chill, unless you're a bug, and then they fucking bite your head off. But if you're bigger, they're just like, hey man. Which, uh, I guess that's what humans would be like, too, if we met something that was bigger than us. You're not gonna fucking attack that shit, you'd just be like, hey bro, please don't kill me. I'll make a cool pet. <laughs> You can feed me! Not to ants! That's what happened to my praying mantis. I was like, they eat ants, right? Nope. That fucking... The ants just killed them. I was like, dude. No wonder. I've got so much shit going on in my head. I'm glad that I'm able to vent to you guys just a little bit while we're uh, wearing down this fear with bite. We are in a gym, so it should be like more exciting, but I know that I'm... Oh no, he's got a sea king. Alright, I'm going to my physical wall. I'm actually getting, like, more scared of Seeking. The more you have, like, a derpy Pokemon on your team, the more you'll, like, learn to, uh... I guess respect it, you know what I mean? It's not... It's not a total piece of shit. It's definitely got its uses. Although, that's not showcasing it at all. Uh... Then again, that's the reason I switched into Use Acid. I don't know, he could have a huge attack stat and use acids, just got that fucking defense out the ass. But, uh, it's not gonna matter with a Giga Drain in the pocket. Oh, he lives! I, I, I gotta give you more credit, Sea King. I know he's slow, but I underestimate how bulky he is. Indeed. And he misses his little horn attack thing, so I can't really see how hard that hits. That's my favorite move on my Sea King like 65 base power which isn't too bad I guess it's kind of like faint attack although you don't get same type attack bonus a woo Ric Flair baby all right we beat some asses we beat some asses we did some things I should probably restock at a Pokemon is there anybody else in this yeah there's another trainer hey buddy buddy I'm over here I'm over here buddy Stop right there! The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated? No, I'm almost done with it. I see Koge's right over there. I'm just trying to... I wonder if that fuck with the focus on my camera. <laughs> I think it did. Whoops! Snorlax comes out! And then here comes Medusa. The Chabok. I'm gonna see if I can get the poison sting. Hopefully he's not gonna body slam the shit out of me. And uh... There it goes. Goddamn. Oh, baby, I'm so glad you lived. <laughs> come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. Please, please, please. Baby, come back! Oh, Jesus. That was horrifying. How did that happen? All right, let's see if, uh, confuse Ray. If I'm going to sleep, you're going to be confused. I know that much right now. We also have the polka flute in the pocket, which I think we could use to wake use acid up on the next turn uh seeing as snorlax is all confused and such but he's just gonna keep yawning and being a bastard apparently mm, mm, yeah i don't know how about this jade played the poker flute What a charming melody. The Pokemon hearing the flute awoke. Yay for you, Zacid. Destroy that Snorlax with all of your might. Good, he hit himself. And I can get at least a couple attacks off on this fucking thing. Uh, use Acid. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I can lower his defense. 
That would be quite a nice thing. It actually hits decently. I kind of like that move, even though it's not same time attack or anything. It's just kind of good. Once you get the defense drop, it uh, stacks on top of itself rather well. The chance for a defense drop, I think, is 100% in later generations. Actually, the move I'm thinking of is Acid Spray, isn't it? Maybe Acid is the same in new generations. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is I'm not scared of Body Slam anymore. Yeah, you can paralyze my rock plant thing. That's just fine as well. Yawn's not gonna work now. In your face, in your face. I'm tempted to Giga Drain, but with only 5 PP, it's like, what the fuck for, man? That's not gonna be a good idea. Um, and I'm just endlessly paralyzed here, which seems quite unfortunate. Yeah, well, um, hmm. There it is. Oh, God. Not yet. I thought, I thought it was so close. It is so close. I don't have any healing items. Well, it's all right. We will exit the gym post haste and buy just a few before I challenge the might of Koga. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. He's got a toe to dial. That's what I want to Giga Drain. Fucking one hit. One hit or quitter. Give it to me. Oh, don't bite. I, was, I thought he was going to get those pair flinch and just my luck he'd get a critical or some shit like that. Yes, drink the Totodile! Yes! My health returns! Jesus Christ, you acid. Who knew your lust for power was so great? Whoa, you've got it! That's right, your balls. In a vice. You impressed me, here's a hint. Look very closely for gaps in the invisible walls. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? How, how do you, how do you... Is that even a thing? I don't see anything. Is it while the screen's moving? Are you just trying to fuck with me? Is that what this is? I think it's just trying to fuck with me. Probably so. A little bit of healing, a little bit of item shopping, and then uh, we can we can call this episode wrapped, ladies and germs. Well, and gentlemen, I don't think men are pigs. I think they're just uh, doing what comes natural. Alright, all healed up, and now let's go see where the item shop is in this little weird town. Hello? Item shop? Anywhere? No? Yes? There's no item shop. Hey you, there's no item shop. Oh, I got the gold teeth and I give them to the warden. Wonderful! No one could understand a word I said. No one! I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Oh, it's HM4. Most wonderful. You'll find strength inside HM4. Let's Pokemon move boulders. You did find the secret house in Safari Zone, right? Yes? What does that have to do with HM4? What are you talking about? <sighs> Anyways, there's no Pokemon Center. We're going to take on Koga with no items and see how it goes in the next episode friends i do hope you will join me for it if you did enjoy the episode please don't forget to like comment and or subscribe and until the next time friends bye bye one two three four goodbye goodbye see you again goodbye goodbye see you my friends